Well, good afternoon. Um, uh, all right, hi everybody. I'm back at it. I talked to a, a friend of mine who uh, did some of the uh, props for the movie Dances with Wolves back when it was being made. And she told, I asked her what she thought of the uh, medicine wheel because she would know about stuff like that. And she said, well, I hate to say it, but uh, it's not correct. And I said, what do you mean? She says, these uh, cross members or dividers here would not have extended past a circle because that would break the, the uh, sacredness of that circle. So I'm going to trim the those down best I can and she would know her her husband's a uh, Lakota war chief and uh, I think she grew up on uh, well I don't I'm not sure which uh, reservation she grew up on she's she's uh, but anyway she gives me a lot of advice on what I do and stuff like that and I always take her advice uh, as gospel and I said well why would they the Indians that uh, were in that movie Hidalgo allow them to shoot that uh, with a uh, medicine wheel that wasn't accurate and she said, I don't know. She's worked with a lot of movie movies and T V shows on the History Channel and stuff like that. And uh she said, Who can tell? Hollywood's Hollywood. Maybe they were told that and they decided to go ahead and put it on because it uh, looked cool, not necessarily accurate. So anyway, I'm just covering up the uh, shiny metal parts here. All right, now put it back in his hand. I must say that does look better and she said that there'd be feathers on it too uh, four feathers uh, maybe on the bottom part of the the uh, circle so let's see what that would look like I'm not going to uh, make them detailed feathers just to indicate them Sort of like this uh, medicine wheel here with the uh, four feathers. I'm just going to sketch some out, put them on, see how they would look. Anything I do like that will cost more money to cast. So that is a consideration I must take into account. Ah! I gotta get that on there a little better. Feather. 
I've got native blood in my DNA. Um, I found out, I mean, my mom used to tell me always that I was Cherokee related. But, you know, it seemed like every white person is related to the Cherokees, and so I never said anything about it because, uh, quite honestly, I couldn't prove it. But she did the genealogy on our family and uh, found that, uh, well, my great-great-grandmother on my, my grandmother's side was a uh, a member of a Eastern Canadian uh, tribe. I'm not sure the name of the tribe. My cousin Martha knows, but uh, I don't know. In fact, Martha's the one that told, told me that we were related to a Canadian tribe. So I thought that was kind of cool. All right, that looks kind of interesting. I'm, that's all I'm going to do today. This is Saturday and I, I'm going to a movie in about an hour or so. So I just wanted to get that taken care of first and just see what it's going to look like. Like I said, I'm going to make this castable. I'll get those feathers better made. I'll make them out of wire. And the wheel does look better without the uh, extensions. Uh, I think. Yeah, that looks better. I want to do uh, the blanket over one of these guys' shoulders. I think it's going to be this guy here, because um, that would, uh, I could bring the blanket down and over to fill in this area right here. All right, that's going to be it for tonight.